right, so first car we have out for overall relationship, uh, over, overall relationships. <laughs> Dobro venche. Dobro Vece, Divine Pisces 222. It is Friday, August 20th, 2021. I'm going to go ahead and do an energy check-in for you guys today. Just a couple of quick announcements, guys. My Oracle deck is here. I am so excited, guys. Uh, it's my Divine Union Oracle. Okay, uh, it comes with this fully, full-colored... Um, what they call the Lux box. So it's a two piece box, guys. It uh, also comes technically with two decks in them. You have a Divine Masculine deck, which is your sun. And then you have the Divine Feminine deck, which is the moon. And I'm going to be using them today for the messages from the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Also, uh, they are up for pre-order on my website right now, guys. Uh, they are $77.77 for pre-order right now. Uh, and that is for a limited time only. Uh, once they go out of pre-order and they're just, you know, when you order them, you get them if they're in stock, um, they will go up to $88.88, okay? Um, it's 78 cards total, so you get 39 cards for Divine Feminine, 39 cards for Divine Masculine. Um, and actually the really cool part about the Divine Masculine deck is uh, KOC, my Divine Counterpart, actually helped me write those, okay? So they are legit, uh, you know, messages from a Divine Masculine, uh, some inner workings basically. But the messages can be really for anything. They can be from your Divine Counterpart. They can be uh, messages from your inner masculine or inner feminine. Basically what they are designed to do is to help uh, basically unite your polarity. So bring you into divine union or, you know, manifest your divine counterpart. I, I really enjoyed making these and, and they're just, they're so fun. Um, I want to do more. I, I think my next project, I am going to be working on a tarot deck at some point, but that's, that's a real, real big undertaking guys. So that's going to take a while, but I think the next immediate a uh, card project I'm probably going to do is going to either be an affirmations deck because I don't see a lot of masculine affirmation decks. So I'd like to do a, like this where I have a masculine and a feminine affirmation deck together so that it's like, you know, together. Um, and also a manifestation deck. I think I'm also going to work on that. Um, also, real quick, guys, my Wine and Divine does start tomorrow night. So if you're thinking of signing up, go ahead and do that. It's $55. You get Five two-hour sessions, group sessions, semi-monthly, uh, goes through October 16th. You get to connect to others in your soul group, to me, of course. I will be doing a group clearing, a group protection, and at the end of every session, somebody's going to get a free mini clearing. Whoever's in attendance is going to get a, a mini clearing. It's totally random. Um, you will have the option to join each individual one if you'd like after they start i will put that up on my website after tomorrow so if you still at least want to join one you know or try it out or whatever you can um but just be aware um, that there there is no replay for these guys this is a group event we're just coming together um shooting the crap as it were <laughs> you know and and doing a group clearing affirmations and things like that so you're also going to get some coaching from me guys so you get a lot <laughs> You're gonna get a lot for $55, okay? Just be aware. You also get access to a private group that you can share your stories and everything with uh, that particular group uh, through the end of the period, okay? Um, and okay, so let's go ahead and get this started. If anything else comes to mind, I'll let you guys know. Um, but I wanna go ahead and get this reading started today. Um, I also did mention on Instagram, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, go ahead and do that now, guys. I'm really close to 2,000 followers. Once I get to 2,000 followers, I'm going to do another giveaway. Um, but I did mention that Uranus is actually in retrograde right now. So just be aware, guys, we're going to be really on edge for a little while. Everybody's on edge. Um, you're going to be tested. You're going to be challenged. Uh, <laughs> you, you may be prompted to actually like uh, speak your mind in some situations and that may be uncomfortable. So you're going to actually literally be shoved <laughs> out of your comfort zones uh, in certain circumstances. Okay, guys, so just be aware 
Take it a day at a time. Everything's going to be fine. Promise. Okay, like find some like-minded individuals to confide in. Again, wine and divine, guys. Also, you know, it's free to sign up on my website. I have a free forum. You can just sign up for the forum. Or if you do the free subscription, you get access to an even more fun forum where I will actually send every now and then you're going to get special deals, special discounts, um, live events like for free. Okay, live events. Um, you also are going to get like basically sneak peeks and certain things that are going to be done. So also special packages and things like that, guys. So again, it's free. All right. And I may actually end up start, I may actually start doing a podcast or something starting next month for you guys. Okay. That's going to be free, but it'll only be, it'll only be available to the people who sign up on my website on, um, to the actual subscription to my soul fam. Okay. Um, all right. So first car we have out for overall relationship, uh, over, overall relationships. <laughs> I'm done. Overall energies is ships. Now I know it says ships. Okay. And this is actually the past life deck. So you know, maybe this is drawing on some past life stuff, but when I said ships, I, it, it came out as I was speaking relationships. So a lot of you are are, are dealing with some <laughs> some issues with your relationships, and they're not exactly smooth sailing at this point. Like I said, Uranus in retrograde right now, guys. You are literally it's Uranus is called the Great Awakener because it literally does that. Like it's like it pulls on your ability to see through bullshit. Okay, as a word, um, <laughs> to see through the bull crap, right? So that you can actually decide whether or not you're going to believe it. Um, and so at this point, it's like people are really being challenged right now to keep their mouth shut and they don't, it's like you see something and it's like here to here, just keep, right? And you have to be, I say pick your battles. That's what I'm really trying to say. You know, obviously speak truth, always speak truth, always be as true as you can. But pick your battles, okay? Because there are people out there, guys, they're not going to wake up. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you do. They are not going to wake up. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your breath. Don't waste your energy. Focus it on you, okay? Like if you're in a situation where you're like, you really want to tell somebody off and you're like, I really want to show them what for. Honestly, I guarantee you, it doesn't matter what you say. That person's op opinion or perception, whether it be of you or something else, doesn't matter, is not going to change because they have already made their decision that they are going to stay on the path that they're on. They're not switching. It's not happening. Okay. And I know I mentioned this last year, guys, about the split. There's like two subgroups within each group, major group. One's going one way, one's going the other. You have people who have already made that decision one or the other. Okay. So don't waste your time. Just don't. And that can be your counterpart, guys. That could be your counterpart. All right? So just understand that. And if it is your counterpart or your, your twin flame or whatever, all right, um, it's, it's not the end of the world. You will be rewarded if you continue on your path. Okay? Does that make sense? Um, all right. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, yeah, karmic relationship. See, look at this. Ships and karmic relationships. Okay, so so again, guys, some of this is uh, is like romantic in nature. Some of them are, are family situations, like you know, parents, children, um, whatever. Okay, even even you. Like, okay, so okay, and I'll talk about like we all play both roles. Yes, sometimes your twin flame or your counterpart acts as your karmic. Sometimes karmic. Okay, sometimes you're your own karmic. Sometimes the situation is your karmic situation. Okay, it's not it's not just a person. It's not always just a person, um, you know. But right now, this is actually really highlighting actual personal relationships, guys. <laughs> These relationships are, are falling down. They're they're very very see through. They're being challenged at the moment. Okay, because that's what I mean. Like we are being we are being challenged to see the truth where it is. Okay. Like, so if you're in a situation that you know is not good for you, you know it's toxic, you know that it's no longer serves your highest good, and it's like you feel like you're stuck there, guys. You're not alone, number one. Number two, come see me, please. I will help you. I will help you. I will help you. Okay? Now, I'm not going to lie. This actually came out, and I thought it was a mistake, so I reshuffled, but it came right back out. So again, this is the past life deck, so sometimes stuff comes up, but when it comes up in this particular context, uh, context 
Like as the overall energies, a lot of times it has a deeper meaning. So what is this saying to me here, Egypt with the pyramids and everything like that, is that there is a higher path right now. There is, it's like the stars are literally aligning. So, you know, when you know anything about the, the pyramids, you know, there's a lot of theories on who actually built the pyramids and whatnot. It doesn't matter. The truth is, and the facts are, they were built I believe is Orion's belt, okay? So it's like they follow Orion's belt. So it's like the stars are quite are aligning right now to bring us these visions, these things that we're seeing. So guys, if you, um, I really do feel, and also we have a full moon in Aquarius coming up, okay? And then this is about being yourself. This is about opening yourself. This is about showing yourself and, and really um, balancing, you know, what love actually means versus, you know, selfish being selfish okay so like if you're a people pleaser and stuff in something like that you know that's not really love that's not what that is okay so w the way things are aligning right now it's a it, i wouldn't say it's unprecedented but it's really powerful it's really really powerful stuff guys it's like a portal a, literally a portal is opening right now and i know um kayla's been talking about this wicked virgo's been talking about this i i i'm pretty sure jupiter's talking about this i know we have talked about this collectively together all three of us about there's something coming at the end of this year and i know i said this earlier this year i think i said it last year as well i was saying like this it's like the last part of this year there is going to be like there's something i don't know what it is it's going to be worse than what we went through last year it's going to be like a double down it's going to be like yeah and i'm not a fear monger i'm just not you know i'm a very optimistic person actually it's just like i see stuff and i'm like there's something there's something coming there there is something coming okay so just prepare yourself guys what's happening right now what you're being forced to recognize right now what you're being forced to deal with right now is so that you can deal with whatever is coming next okay i i do feel a lot of us like food and hunger you know this is going to be a problem okay there 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 are going to be people out there that are like oh no poor me you know I, I don't have, I don't, I blah, 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 blah. And there, the jealousy is going to come out, guys. The jealousy is already coming out. If you have people around you who are trying to make you feel bad for being in abundance, for doing your thing and actually being good at what you do or, or making money at what you do, trying to make you feel guilty for that, screw them. Screw them. It's jealousy, guys. They want to tear you down, okay? I'm not going to lie. I had somebody on my channel yesterday who really... Not your channel, I'm sorry. On uh, Instagram yesterday, really, I'm just like, come on. You must be a really unhappy person. You know, I'm posting testimonials because I help people. That's what I do. You know, that's what I do. By the way, guys, if you have feedback for me, please either send it an email or you can actually put it on my website, okay? Um, but anyway, so like, yeah, I put out, you know, a testimonial and I was like, I love what I do. Like, there are days where I just feel so low. I'm like, I'm not sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Then I get an email from somebody who's like, thank you so much. You helped me so much. It makes me feel, it makes me remember why I did this, why I started doing this in the first place is because I love people and I want to help people. That's what I want to do. Okay. And this, I don't know. I don't even know who he was. It doesn't matter. I mean, he post, he was like, do you do it because you love people or because you like that they pay you? And I'm like, first of all, I wanted to say, I don't make a lot of money. I don't guys. I don't make a lot of money. I really don't. Like, but yeah, okay, so people pay me to help them. That's what I do. How am I supposed to support my daughter? How am I supposed to feed her? I'm supposed to keep a roof over our heads if I don't get paid for what I do. I mean, you must be an incredibly miserable person to care only about money. Somebody can't actually enjoy what they do because it's their calling and, and you know, they, they actually do help people and they do something nice and they do something good. You know, and there are gonna be people like that around you guys. There are going to be people that are going to try to pull you down and try to make you feel guilty, you know, make you not feel worthy for the things that you do or the things you enjoy or whatever, or for happiness in general, for love in general. Okay, screw them. Okay? They're unhappy. Misery loves company. Don't let them bring you down, okay? Because you know what you're doing is true, okay? So, yeah, the challenge is to speak one's mind. Ooh really big today guys my hair my face. um but spirituality and religion this came up last time so again a lot of our, our our belief systems are being challenged right now and this is what i'm talking about like the truth seeing the truth some of the things that you've believed your entire lives whether that's your family whether it's um you know oh my actually religion okay this is dumb what okay religious or you know culture or whatever it is that's coming up for you right now 
you're being challenged to call it as you see it. And to see it for what it actually is. You know? Which is illusion. Um, something that's been keeping you in lack. Something that's been keeping you from manifesting the true reality of your dreams. Okay? There's still something clinging you, clinging to you and keeping you stuck. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at feminine whirling goddess. So <laughs> I love this, the whirling goddess. And this sometimes, you know, femmes, we do feel this way. It's like we're just kind of like in the world like, okay, I am embracing my divinity. I'm, I'm good. I feel great. And there's all this stuff going on around me. But it's like, what do I do? What do I do with this? I'm happy. I'm so happy. I, I can't stand that I'm so happy. And it's just like, you know, it's again, that... I feel guilty for being happy because other people are hungry or whatever. You know, don't feel guilty for being happy, guys. Don't. Don't. But Femme really is. Femme's like, shouldn't I be guilty right now? Then you don't, then you feel guilty for not feeling guilty. <laughs> you know, but it's really because Feminine's on the other side of this. Feminine is in the, the whole Phoenix rising energy that, uh, you know what, I just totally overcame a major tower and I should feel good about myself. I do feel good about myself, you know. I just over overcame some major, major stuff. And yes, you did, fam. Absolutely. You absolutely did. You know, and so now it's time to claim your divinity. And that's where I think feminine really, really is at. And for some of you, some of you, you have to be real careful with this, okay? Because <laughs> for some of you, it's like you feel good and you're claiming your divinity and you're like, yes, I'm a diva. I am my, you know, I am who I am, so on and so forth. And some of you are like, you have ego coming in going, ah, oh, but you, you know, you're being judgmental or so on and so forth, you know? And yeah, sure. There might be a fine line to that. So if it, if it bleeds into the ego a little bit, obviously keep that in check. But again, fam, don't feel guilty for your divine right to be happy and fulfilled. Okay. There's absolutely no reason to feel guilty for that. Okay. Um, there's no reason to feel guilty for feeling love, whether you love yourself, whether you love your life, whether you love... Maybe you found a new love. Some of you have people have had, you know, a person come in, whether it's the original vessel, the original twin flame, or it's a new person coming in, the actual divine counterpart, so on and so forth. Some of you are starting to feel guilty for that for some reason. And specifically those who have left situations that weren't ideal. Some of you are still holding on to some of those things. And some of you, you're still holding on to the shadow twin who chose the other way. Okay. Um, but beyond the threshold of fear, obviously, is love. And that's that's where feminine is at right now. You went through a lot of fear. Still a little bit of fear that you're clinging to. And that's mainly because it's like it feels comfortable. So that whole that whole guilt feeling that you have to feel guilty for being happy or whatever. Um, that's a belief system that is coming down for you. Um, but on the other side of that is love. Because fear is the opposite of love. Okay, so just, just keep going. Keep going. It's going to be fine. All right, fine. All right, let's take a deeper look. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, you're ending a karma. Yeah, Femme's ended or is in the process of ending right now a major karmic cycle in her life, okay? And specifically having to do possibly with another person, okay? So whether that's karmic in nature, what's your twin flame, or even a job or something of that nature, family situations, whatever. And then you got the two of hearts. So yeah, that, that's a, that, that right there. Okay. So some of you, you have ended a karmic situation uh, in order to embrace your true counterpart, your true love, the true, the truth, as it were. Okay. So again, some of you, union harmony, some of you, yeah, that, that's exactly it. You're coming into union with who you're supposed to be in union with, whether that's um, the, your twin flame or your actual counterpart who's coming in here, but you had to release this first. And that's what you're in the process of doing so that you can embrace this, okay? Um, yeah, see, that, that tower has come down. It's like, okay, I got to rebuild this foundation yet again. But this time, this time, I'm going to use love as the foundation. Self-love is the foundation, right? Self-love is the foundation, and that's what brings me the things that I want, um, right? That's what brings me my king of cups, <laughs> okay? That's what brings me my king of cups is self-love and rebuilding the foundation in self-love, okay? Yeah, three, yeah, yeah, ending these third-party situations. Now, for some of you, this third-party situation was actually, like, a job. Some of you was like, okay, I've got to, I, I, I am in the process 
of releasing this toxic, toxic job that I've been at for who knows how long and I'm not making my way. I don't feel fulfilled anymore. I have to release that in order to embrace myself, embrace my true calling here, you know, and rebuild my foundation with love. And that's what's going to bring me my abundance. That's what's going to bring me my happiness. But I have to release that third party energy first. So again, guys, this can go either way. Take it as it resonates. Um, but the facts are here. Fem is like, no, no more, no more. I'm, I'm embracing. Yeah, I'm, I'm going down this new path. I've made my decision, like, forget the old stuff. Like, Fem is at that crossroads, I believe, at the end of this, or at the beginning of the week, right? And Fem is like, no, I made the choice. No, I'm definitely choosing self. I'm choosing self. I'm choosing self. I'm going forward here, um, you know, and that's my sanctuary. I am my own sanctuary. And you know what? You do deserve some rest. Some of you Fems, you beat yourself up because you take a day off when you need one. Sometimes we need one. Sometimes you need mental clarity. Like last week, it was really difficult for me because of the energies that were in the air. It was hard. I could not even work. I couldn't even do a collective. I was just like so weighed down by everything. And, and sometimes you just have to take time for yourself, okay? Don't feel guilty for that. All right. But yeah, now is the time for readjustment because you've gone through a major transformation. So some of you, you do need to take some time for yourself. That's what you're being called to do. That self-love coming in, you take some time for yourself. Take some time to love yourself right now, okay? And forget everything else. Forget the material stuff. Forget forget it. Just just don't even worry about it right now. And I, then most of you have figured this out, that the more you worry, the more trouble or, or fear you manifest for yourself, right? The longer you stay uh, keeping your abundance at bay, right? And so that's when you're like, all right, you know what? I have the courage to face this. I can face my demons. I can face my fears. I can dispel them, right? Because I know what the truth is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I know what the truth is. I'm good. I'm good. I'm tired of sitting in non-action. I'm tired of just waiting for things to happen. I know I need to move. You know, it's one thing to dream about something, but it's quite another thing to do it, right? So it's time to take those steps and I need to have passion and vigor when I do that, you know? Otherwise it's not gonna materialize for me, right? So Femme, I mean, your, re your resilience is actually being called out here, okay? And knowing that you need that resilience in order to achieve the things that you want, right? But it all starts with standing in your power, okay? And embracing who you are, embracing your divinity, okay? Without feeling guilty for it, okay? All right, I'm going to use my new deck here for messages from the Femme, okay? Now, sometimes these do come out. Sometimes these do come out as advice from your higher self, so just be aware. Life is a series of present moments. Take them one at a time. So again, Fem, just take it one day at a time, okay? I sometimes give my love to those who don't deserve it. I am breaking that habit starting now, right now. And see, um, I don't know, uh, I should explain to the, you guys a little bit. Um, these cards also have double hidden meanings in them. So certain words are going to be um, bolded, okay, and in a different font or a different typeface, I should say. And they have different meanings. So this one says present time. So we're stay in the present and deserve love now, okay? So, um, Sometimes I give my love to those who don't deserve it. Breaking the habit starting now. Yes, fam. I connect. I love to connect with you in the 5D. We get so much done there. So some of you are connecting with your masculine in the 5D right now. Okay. Deflecting onto others give them, gives them power over your thoughts, words, and deeds. So yes, guys. Like, be aware. Uranus, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show you your distortions too. Because somebody's going to trigger the crap out of you. And you're going to show your ass. Okay. Be careful with that, guys. All right, we're all guilty of deflection, all right? Don't give somebody the power to, to bring your energy down, as it were, okay? You have control over your words and deeds. I dream about a life with you. Can we make it happen? I see you for who you are at the soul level. The soul is pure and never disappoints. Some of you, yeah, you are seeing people at the soul level. And you don't like what you see, some of you, 
okay? And we found each other when we needed to. I am grateful for you, okay? All right, let's get some messages from the higher self here for Femme. Wisdom, knowledge gained through experiences from a, or from a wise counselor. So guys, yes, you have gained some knowledge. All right, be comfortable in that fact. It's time to spread your wings, okay, and have confidence in what you know and have confidence in what you've learned and know what you bring to the table, okay? Yeah, celebrate your good times right now, okay? You just overcame something major, okay? You just overcame something major. It's time to celebrate, all right? Um, some of you are still dealing with a little bit of illusion at the moment, um, the lack mentality, okay? Some of you are going back to some bad habits, okay? It's mostly, it's like to keep you busy and to keep you from thinking about stuff. The tendency to overthink is very strong right now, okay? Yeah, it's bringing about an obsession feeling. So some of you are still a little bit obsessed. Now, it's like you're trading one obsession to the other for the other. Some of you are a little bit, <laughs> some of you are a little obsessed with, um, like your spirituality. It's like you're using it as an escape. And I said this before about hermit mode. Be careful with hermit mode, guys, because you can't. <laughs> Sometimes you end up using it as an excuse not to do anything. Okay, just be careful. All right? All right, let's take a look at masculine. What's going on? Yeah, Saturn return age. So some masculines right now are really feeling... I say spiritually mature. This particular group of masculines is feeling very spiritually mature. I feel like I'm picking up on a very uh, awakened group of masculines today and a group of uh, feminines. I've just gone through some major stuff. Yeah, reinvention. So Mercury retrograde reinvention. So this particular group of masculines, they have spiritually matured here. Okay. They're really, they're literally reinventing themselves right now. They're like, wow, I, I was an asshole. I was an asshole. I was not fulfilled. I was blaming everybody else. Yeah. Uh, I was blaming everybody else. Now it's time to take responsibility for me. So that's what they're doing. They're like, you know what? Yeah. I, I have the power to change this. I, I don't. I can't put this on somebody else. Nobody else is going to save me. That's just, you know, it's a waste of time. Yeah. I am responsible for my own blessings. Absolutely. Absolutely. But with that acknowledgement, masculine does come blessing. Okay, you, you are going to be blessed. You are going to be rewarded for choosing the path. Okay, so this particular group of feminines and this particular group of masculines, very awakened group. I feel like this particular group that I'm picking up on either are coming into union, have been, you know, recently reconnected or are already in union. You're just kind of going, you, you just kind of went through like a, a blip, you know, a blip, <laughs> as it were. All right. Or um, you're coming back into alignment. And some of you, you're about to receive some messages from your masculine. Okay. So this particular group is one of one of those. Okay. And it could be all of them kind of amalgamating together because that's usually what happens in a collective is I'll pick up like on a couple of different subgroups all together in one go that have kind of the similar theme. Uh, theme. Okay. All right. Let's take a closer look at masculine here yeah masculine's like nope to hell with all the rest of this stuff i've been carrying other other people's burdens for heck, heck of a long long time and some of them this is family some of them it's like i no nah, i've been dealing with y'all with y'all stuff too long it's time for me to do me so i'm gonna go do my thing over here yeah <laughs> yeah okay so this particular group of masculines they are taking the leap they're getting out whatever situation this was whether it was a karmic situation a karmic relationship family situation, a job, whatever it was, they're done with it. They're moving towards their own um, ideas of what fulfillment actually means because they've been, they've been living this little illusion for way too long and they're recognizing that illusion. So they're literally taking that leap away from that illusion and, and towards fulfillment, self-fulfillment, okay? And a lot of them had to release a lot of guilt associated with this, you know, this whole idea that they have to be responsible, they have to think of others first, so on and so forth. All that programming just kind of came tumbling down. Yeah, that was the decision they made. So yeah, that's where they're at. They're like, yep, it's time for me. It's time for me, right? I'm tired of putting my energy into something that's not going to fulfill me. It doesn't fulfill me anymore. It doesn't give me any pleasure. Um, all it does is give me grief, right? And I don't like who it made me. Okay, so again, some of you femmes, if this is your masculine and you haven't talked to them in a while, you're going to be getting some communication, okay? And they're going to be telling you, I'm done. 
I'm done. I'm done being a player. I'm, I'm done with all of this. I'm done with coming in and out. I, I don't, I didn't know what I wanted for the longest time, but now I do. Now I do. Now, now I do. I want to have a life with you. Okay. So this particular group of masculines, they're coming in or they have been in or they're coming back. Okay. Um, they want to grow with you. Okay. Them. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Yep. I'm done with the heartbreak. I am choosing self here. Choosing truth. All right. Letting, letting that transformation kind of take me over. This is really good. Yeah. For some of them, this is actually a, uh, a karmic partner or a feminine karmic partner or a mother figure of some sorts. But this also can represent feminine. So some of them, it's like, yeah, okay, I know what I want in the 3D now. I, the, the, my feminine is got her stuff together. She knows what she's about. She's solid. She is stable. Um, you know, she, she knows what she's about, right? So to hell with the manipulation, to hell with, with all the other stuff that I was going through, to hell with being stuck in one place. I don't want that anymore. I don't want this anymore. So yeah, they're walking away from the toxicity, okay? And towards union. So yeah, union energy is all over this, guys. Union energy is all over this. Okay. All right, let's get some messages from Masculine. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Why do you believe in me so much when all I do is disappoint you? See, reprogramming my belief system is difficult, so please be patient with me. Yep. Mm -hmm. My mission is to protect you. Believe it or not, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. You're right. You deserve better. Stop second-guessing yourself. Trust your path, then. That's from your masculine. Okay. Masculine knight likes it when... Uh, you know what you're about. I love this. I love the way I feel when I'm with you and I hate myself when I'm not. Yep. That's because when you're in the presence of your counterpart or your twin flame, you are in your sacred energy, your divine energy. You can be yourself with each other. You feel that connection. And when you are apart is instantly, instantly when you are apart, you go into your distortions. Okay. All right. Truth is, I act like I don't care because I'm afraid of how much I do. Okay. Okay. Woo. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> okay. I am so grateful I found you when I did. I was in a very dark place and you were the guiding light. I want to give you the world. Will you let me? Okay. So yeah, this particular group of masculines, they are coming in or they're coming back if you had a rift. Okay. All right. Some messages from masculine's higher self here. Let go of control. You are transcending limitations. All right. Don't be afraid of being rejected masculine. Okay. You are healing DNA and clearing ancestral karma in your family line. Yep. Time for rest, self-care, rejuvenation, and retreat. You also have to take care of yourself masculine. Okay. You are integrating your masculine and feminine energy, so union is happening right now. Accelerated movement, communications, and action. So yes, either they're going to come in physically feminine or they're going to communicate in some way to you. Okay? All right, let's take a look at the connecting energies. Whoa. Yeah, divine grace. So again, embracing your divinity right now is incredibly important. Being grateful for the things that you have, being grateful for the lessons, being grateful for, you know, whatever it is you feel grateful for, which you should, okay? Um, and the more grateful you feel, the more abundance you get, right? The wisdom of the divine feminine. So again, feminine gone through a major, I believe it's like we're kind of reached the end of an ascension point. You know, that's why it felt like so heavy for a really long time. And now we're just kind of like up there. And we're like whirling around the whirling goddess. Just like, yay, <laughs> I am embracing my knowledge, you know. 
Um, but that's also within the masculines too, like the awakening of the intuition and the embracing of the intuition and, and not, um, deflect the, uh, not deflecting, um, denying, I guess the intuition. Okay. Yeah. Seeing messages and signs and things like that happening a lot right now. Okay. And let's see. Spiritual protection. Yeah. Okay. So maybe this is a, this is actually a, um, a call to up your protection because there are a lot of energy vampires around right now. I know I mentioned this yesterday on my Instagram, be very, very careful. Some of you do have a masculine coming back in. I said this yesterday also on my Instagram. Some of you, this is, this is your masculine that's coming in. It's a good thing. It's a great thing. Okay. Some of you, there are people coming in pretending to be your masculine or they aren't fully done cooking as it were. So just be careful. Okay. Listen to yourself. And hold your center. Stand your ground. Okay. You know who you are. Don't be afraid to embrace it. Okay. And once you do, once you uh, embrace your divinity and once you like ascend, I guess is the word I'm looking for, that's when the doors are going to open for you. Okay. Source is waiting for you to embrace who you are. Truly. All right. All right. Let's take a deeper look here. Yeah, some of you are coming out of an, a period of no communication right now, okay? Yeah, we were kind of in a healing period for a while. Again, an ascension period. So we're kind of coming out of that. We're overcoming that as a collective in general, right? Strength is obviously very, very tested um, here recently. Some of us are like overcoming some really, really dark, dark circumstances. You know, a lot of drama going on around us. A lot of failure, quote unquote. Um, a lot of not feeling good enough. Um, you know, it's like you hit a brick wall or something like that and you weren't really quite sure. And it's because you were carrying other people's burdens still. You were still carrying like karma from past lives or from your ancestors or whatever. You were still carrying that around. Okay. And so now it's like, okay, I need to release this. Right. And I, I can't, I can't come into balance until I do. Right. So all of this emotional baggage that I've got going on, it's time to release it. Yep. Yep, because we weren't in integrity. So yeah, so the collective is really just shifting out of this nasty, negative, doubt, kind of this like weird, I don't know, I keep getting the word sticky. Like some of you are in like a sticky situation or just feeling gross, feeling smarmy or, or slimy, right? Tower, right? But it took a tower. It took a tower for it to happen. Um, because nothing else was working, right? And now you're like, okay, good. Yes, I can move forward. I'm released of my burdens. Like, I don't have to worry about this anymore. I don't have to worry about the decision. I've already made the decision. So don't go back now. You can't go back now. It's, it's too late. It's too late, okay? You, you, you chose your path already. So trust your path. Listen to your higher self. Trust your intuition, okay? Release the illusions. You're good. All right, let's get some messages from source. Yeah, double mission, light worker, star seed. Serve the world by being you. That's what I mean. Show the world the real you right now, guys. Big picture thinking, uh, visionary inspired ideas. So yeah, stepping into your power is what you need to do right now. Okay. Um, oh my God. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. So a lot of you are being shown your next step. And again, this is a call to action for those of you who are ready or who are seeking mission. It's being shown to you right now. The portal is opening. The way is being shown to you. You've released all of this XX stuff. So now you can step into your purpose. Okay. If you need help with that, if you're not really quite sure how to do that, if if you know, maybe you, you have no idea how to start an online business or you know, a spiritual entrepreneurship, whatever, see me, I'd be happy to help. That's something that I do. I also will be doing a masterclass, one on manifestation and one on energy healing guys. So like learning different types of energy healing, what that, what, what it means, um, how to do it and stuff like that. Because there are a lot of different types of energy healing out there. There's a lot of different words out there that we throw around like Reiki, spiritual release, spirit release therapy, past life regression, Whatever, these are all things that are, they're basically energy healing, okay? Um, and sometimes it's like, it's overwhelming. You're like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, <laughs> right? 
Um, let's see. Uh, bringing harmony and balance. Uh, so some of you, like, this is really about bringing yourself into balance. And some of you, your mission is actually part of your healing journey. So once you step into that, that's when you're going to see the majority of your healing done. I know this is true for me. As soon as I stepped into mission, I started healing like crazy, okay? I heal by helping others. All right. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. So remember, guys, we are energetic beings temporary, living a temporary human experience. Think about that for a second. Okay, and I know a lot of people talk about star seeds and stuff like that. Who's to say this is their, it's definitely not my first life, but who's to say our lives only took place on earth? That doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense at all. Okay, so embrace who you are. Maybe some of you, that's part of your mission is finding out who you are, who you really are, where you came from. Okay, all right. Again, I do pass life regression, guys, so there's something I can help you with. All right, let's get some affirmations. My eyes are full of wonder. Yeah, I feel like just the collective right now is just kind of like, <sighs> goodness, that, thank God that's over. I am beginning to love myself and what that truly means. Knowing what that truly means. I will thrive in the face of change. There's a lot of change happening right now, guys. A lot of chaos happening right now. But knowing who you are and knowing what you will and will not accept, it's a good start to dealing with it, okay? I will nurture my soul. I am powerful, yes, and not ashamed of that. I am a universe of positive energy. That's a good one. I like that one. All right. Okay, guys. I really hope this has helped. If it has, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.